this video we are assembling the Easter Bunny pop-up card. I'm going to start here. Um, first I'm going to mention that I do have <clears throat> my centerpiece. This is two pieces glued together and I have this drying so that it'll be nice and flat. And I, um, with most of my pop-up cards, the centerpiece is, is rather tall. Um, in total, counting the tab, this is almost seven inches tall. So you do want to double this up with good sturdy cardstock to make sure you have a nice secure piece that's not going to be floppy when it's standing. And so I've got that just here under my mat drying, making sure that it dries flat and it doesn't curl. So I'm going to start by folding everything on the score marks on my um, base piece. I'm going to fold it down to be level with this edge and then fold the next score mark up. And excuse all the sticky glue that's stuck to my paper. I've been having to spray my mat to keep my pieces stuck while I cut. So fold that down and then fold that one up and fold that one down. So We're just creating this quarter inch gap that will be glued down. But before we glue those down, I want to put my panel pieces on. So we have six panel pieces. I'm going to glue these on. There is a slight border around all these pieces, so just take a moment and get it centered into the space. By folding the base on all the score marks, it makes it easier for me to see where each section is and that helps me center that a little bit better. So next we're going to flip this over and we're going to glue these quarter inch spaces down. Put some glue in there. I'm going to hold this just a few seconds longer. <clears throat> Make sure it sticks well. seconds more they popped right back up okay now I'm just gonna set this aside and I'm gonna let that dry while I work here on my pieces so we have the feet a carrot and of course the body which is drying under my mat so the feet are two pieces we're just gonna glue these together
Okay. So the paper piecing part, there's nothing too complicated. children is knocking at the door. I'm going to, they'll say hi to me here in just a minute. I apologize. I thought I could get this finished before everybody got home. Okay, I'm recording. Yes. And then this black oval goes over the eyes and the mouth. Now on our bunny, you'll want to make sure to put the tummy on first because the head will cover just the top part of this. And then the bow. I already have some pop dots there. I'm going to glue the center on. Something I want to mention again about these pop-up cards. If you want to add some dimension with pop dots, it's okay. Just keep it above two inches. So I have her here on my mat. These two squares, this is each an inch. So you don't want to put any pop dots in this lower two inches because that folds up inside the card when you close it and it could affect how it closes and bend the bottom of your card. So just keep any um, pop dots that you might use above two inches. Okay. So now she's done, I'm going to pull out this piece here. I'm going to glue her on. Okay, <clears throat> now that these pieces are all ready to go, I'm going to wait to put my hands on, um, I think, till I see how these go. So, when you look at this half of the card, this section that's on the fold is the back. So that one's for the main bunny. Then you have your carrot. And then you have your feet. And you want to make sure that each one of these sections is staying within the edge there. Because that will be right up against that. So that's how they're going to go on. And I guess I can just go ahead and put the hands on. I'm going to put the glue on the carrot since the hand is hanging over the edge. That way I won't get glue that's going to stick to another piece on anything. Okay. And again, this one is goes in this whoops, goes in the center. So then we're going to flip this over. That's a piece for my pop dot. And everything, you're working with everything upside down. <clears throat> Let's take
take that out. These first two pieces have a tab on them. So again, line your feet up so they're not going over either edge. And then you're going to just apply glue to the small tab and glue it down to the bottom. Make sure your bottom is laid down flat. Okay. So that's your feet. The next one is your carrot. Make sure you line that up so it's not hanging over either edge. Apply glue to the tab, fold it under, and glue it down. Now your bunny body is going to slide in, and she's not as wide as the edges, so you just want to kind of center her on there. And this time, she, this one does not have a tab because this is going to glue to these two flaps and that's what pulls the card up and down. So you want to put glue on the tab to the bunny and glue these sections down. like that. Hold it a few seconds, make sure it's stuck good. Then you want to come to the other side and you want to push these pieces both down, but then fold this tab up. And we're going to bring this over and we're going to glue these two tabs to their opposite facing side. So I'm going to put glue just here on the tab. And then I'm going to fold this over and glue this down. Because all of your pieces are in here, this will be a little bit thick. So you want to really apply some pressure to make sure these tabs are adhering. And I'll show you inside here. So these are gluing face to face. And you can see here how these front two pieces or glue to the bottom. So it's kind of like an opposite box card because you're gluing to the bottom instead of the sides. And then we're going to close this up. And when you push up here on the bottom, there is your Easter Bunny pop-up card. Thank you for joining me.